Hi, my name is Kemi. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. In our last lesson, we talked about the use of formats to make adjustments to our strings, our numeric values, and um, some other values. So our date values, numeric, and strings. So today we'll be talking about string methods. We're talking about how we can use the methods available in Python to make changes to our input. So I'm going to take a, a sentence as the first variable to consider. So I'll say the weather is hot. So I'm going to start with ends with. So I want to check if this sentence ends with hot. If it does end with hot, I'm going to have a true. And if it doesn't end with hot, I'm going to have a false. I'm going to save it and I'm going to run it. So true, true. Okay, so now this is true because this sentence does end with hot the weather is hot so what if i try to test for something else what if i try to test for something that doesn't that is not even in the variable like cool save this and run it so i have true for the first test which is is the weather hot does it end with hot it does end with hot as you can see and then the second one false is referring to the second print statement sentence dot ends with cold does this sentence end with cold no it doesn't so that's why i have a false so i'm gonna try and test for another one start with so what if i wanted to check if this sentence starts with D okay no it doesn't start with D but then we can see that it has a capital H so Python is case sensitive so it's not seeing this small T as a capital C seeing it as a small T but if I were to change this let me run this again and put this if i were to change the small t to t, capital t and i will run it to see that i get a true for capital t and i get a false for small t so moving forward i'm going to tr try test for find so print find D. So I want to I want to find the capital D. Zero. It says that my the position of this T H E is in the first position of this sentence. So this capital T is the first position, which is position zero. Python as a different naming convention so a different index convention apart from some other programming languages that start from zero sorry that start from one python starts its own indexing from zero so the first index here is zero that's t is zero h is one e is two the space is three w is four and thereabout so you could also try out another one if I try to check out this, what's the position of hot? So it's going to be done 15. Okay, this hot is starting from the position of 15. So if I have 0, 1, 2, 3, the space, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, the space, 12, 13, 14, the space, 15. H starts from the 
15th position so that's why i have eight so that's why i have 15 here so moving forward i'm going to test for join So you see, it splits this hello world into different characters and then it joins this to it, it joins this comma to each character, each comma. So that's how join works. So what if I actually wanted to change this whole sentence to capital letter? So I could just come here and just grab one of this. I paste here and... I'll just change this to upper if I wanted to change everything to a capital case I'll have to use sentence that is the variable name dot upper and if I wanted to change the reverse the case if I wanted to change this to a lower case just guess this would be lower so I'll run and then I'll save it the weather is hot is now in lower case so Moving on to strip. Strip is used to remove additional white spaces in your code. We have, let's say, assume that we have another one here. Let's assume we have this. We have this. We have added white spaces to this. I want to remove those white spaces so, so there's a, a couple of times that you have to accept user input and you really can't tell what your user would type there so it, uh, the best practice is to use strip to remove leading spaces and excess spaces so I have print sentence dot strip so this is going to remove the leading spaces for me but if i just printed this out the way it is let me print it out so that you see the outcome before it then removes the spaces so you can see this is a space here though the other one is not visible but then you can see my dancing cursor i saying there's a space in between here so now this strip removed the leading space and the excessive the excess space we have so that's that about that so i'll drop a link in the description below to explain more about string methods and to also tell us the other kind of string methods that we have so uh stick around and if you do enjoy this video please like subscribe and share so see you in my next video. Bye.